So, I finally got the chance to travel back to Hawaii, and like always, I brought more gear than I needed. But one camera in particular has stood out as the most used camera so far on this trip. The Insta360X3. Let me explain. Not only do I love this camera, but I also wanted to see if this could potentially be my main travel camera because it shoots in 360 degrees, which on paper will eliminate the use of multiple cameras to capture whatever you need, right? Because you can reframe the camera and export different angles from one of the same shot. But reality is different from a piece of paper, so I had to find out myself. So in today's video, I want to share my experience using mainly the Insta360 X3 here in Hawaii and whether or not I think it's worth getting for your next trip, either as your main camera or an addition to your current setup. Now this time, I'm traveling without my wife and two kids, which gave me the slightest disadvantage of not having a cameraman to help me shoot the videos I needed. But in return, it gave me the ability to see how this holds up for a solo traveler and if it's possible to do everything and more in a faster and more convenient way using a 360 camera over multiple action cameras. And also want to mention that most of the shots you're seeing in this video has been graded with my signature LEDs and you'll see a few samples before and after and if you don't have them already they are available with a discount through the link in the description and on your way down there make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you haven't done that already that would be really appreciated and it will also help this channel a lot but as I was saying the X3 let's talk about the worry-free shooting you get with this device now, what I mean about this is that you don't really need to think about how you're shooting your videos. And personally, I've figured that out now on this trip. I've said it in my previous videos as well, but again, I want to highlight the ease of use of this camera. And one thing I saw early on on this trip was the benefit of the three meter selfie stick. At this point, I don't think I can record without it. And at some points, I don't think I can live without it. It's so essential for when I'm out shooting with the Insta360 X3. And this also works with other different cameras as well. So if you don't have the X3, you can get the three meter selfie stick and you can mount your other action cameras on the stick as well. But with this, I could not only make awesome vlog style shots, but I could also get the drone tracking look where I have both myself in frame as well as showing the surroundings around me, something which is quite tedious to pull off with a regular action camera. But with the X3, I was able to pull this off within a few seconds. Now, I'm not saying get this and sell your drone because a drone will do this 10 times better, but in places you can't fly a drone or where your drone struggles to get a GPS signal or if you just want to get a shot right there and then, the X3 is definitely helping you get that without thinking about anything. Now, doing this trip to Hawaii, I wanted to do things a little bit different. So I actually didn't care about the placement of the camera. I just extended the selfie stick to a random height and pressed record. And looking back at the shots that I've captured so far with the X3, I am amazed. I've also made quite a few videos with the X3 and I keep seeing people saying that the quality is bad, the reframing takes the years and it's the least convenient camera they've used. Personally, I couldn't disagree more. If you haven't used a 360 camera before, you have to know it's a completely new way of shooting videos with literally zero effort. The only effort you have to put into it is to tap the record button and also decide how high the selfie stick should go. Yeah, I know, it's hard. Now, I know I've said this before, but I want to emphasize the way you capture videos with this camera. It shoots 360 videos at 5.7K resolution. However, this is spread over 360 degrees. So the quality is not as high as a GoPro. But up until now, I've shot three videos with the GoPro and the Action 3 over the past two weeks here in Hawaii. And it has felt like a hassle compared to the X3. It doesn't give me that wow factor and it's less fun and engaging. 
This is my personal opinion though, and you might enjoy shooting with your GoPro or Action 3, and that's completely fine. I do that too, but not when I'm out traveling, or at least not anymore, it feels like, because the X3 does everything that you know I want from all my cameras, but it does that in a single body. So I don't have to bring as much gear when I'm out traveling because I have this 360 camera. And it also captures everything. And that means I can easily get multiple different videos or angles from the same video when editing using the Insta360 Studio app. So instead of always needing a reminder to make sure that I change the camera to different directions to capture different scenes, I can be the lazy shooter and keep it in one place at all times and then frame whatever I want later. Now, the Insta360 mobile app is no joke either. After a long day of hiking, I can head to the beach to relax or maybe just do another hike or something. Yeah, I would prefer a hike. Anyway, this trip has been quite hectic so far and I haven't been much at the computer, only to dump files. But to keep my audience up to date, I've also been editing smaller videos which I've published on Instagram and some of you might have seen these as well. There's not much special to these posts other than the amazing places I go to, but the fact that you actually have a reliable app is what matters. I've also done a comparison between the Action 3 or the DJI Mimo app and the GoPro Quick app and the Insta360 app, which I will link down below, where I also go through these apps from the different brands. But the Insta360 app is based on a keyframe system, which personally I find awesome. I really enjoy using it. But if you're the person that don't wanna add multiple keyframes to adjust your footage, a pro tip here is to just use a deep track on your yourself or an object on your path. When you do this, the X3 will automatically track the subject or object and make sure that this is constantly in the center of the frame throughout the entire duration of the tracking. And if you ask me, this is really neat when you're walking or driving anywhere but straight forward. If I'm not tracking myself, the camera or the framing will move. But as soon as I add deep tracking to myself, I have the perfect shot which is locked on to either me or the object I'm tracking. And this will also give you that standard action camera look. But the X3 also has that which is called single lens mode. I'm more of that 360 person or I've become more of that 360 person. So I prefer to shoot 360 videos and then just deep track whatever I want to be in the center of the frame. And then I have the standard action camera look anyway. Now, I'm in Hawaii and it's about 26 to 27 degrees Celsius in the ocean according to my Apple Watch, which is the perfect temperature for some underwater testing. The only reason I would bring a GoPro or the Action 3 on trips like this is because they do such an amazing job on the water. Above water, they provide mostly the same quality for me, whether it's 4K or 5K. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. As long as the camera is reliable, I'm more than happy. But I've never actually used a 360 camera in the drink before, so to me, this was quite interesting. I did try some different settings like active HDR video and normal video with and without a dive case. And to my surprise, I actually thought the dive case would make the image look slightly worse because your camera has an additional layer of plastic it has to record through and given the light rays from the sun I expected a lot of reflections or glares in my shots. Also the fog which I've experienced with the GoPros and the Osmo Action in the past even when using anti-fog pads have basically led me to use these cameras without a dive case unless I'm actually diving. But using the dive case with the X3, even when snorkeling, it made a huge difference. The image looks just amazing when using the dive case. And on top of that, it also kept the X3 dry from all the salt water, which is nice. So if you're planning on taking your X3 on a trip where you'll most likely end up in the drink looking for turtles, then make sure to do yourself a favor so you don't end up being disappointed because the shots didn't look as good. I will leave a link to the dive case I'm using down in the description if you need a dive case or if you wanna check it out. But the big question is, 
should you get one? Should you get the X3? I will leave that completely up to you. But let me show you a sequence I shot here in Hawaii with the X3 before I give you my final verdict of this camera or whether or not it's changed the way I travel. All these clips has been graded with my signature LUTs, which enhances the image quality of any camera. And if you're looking for underwater LUTs, these will be available soon. So keep that in mind, these have been graded. There's no raw footage coming from the X3 and my LUTs have been developed to enhance the video. So let's take a look at the beautiful Hawaii captured with the Insta360 X3. Now I think that short sequence you just saw speaks for itself. You wouldn't be able to capture the same shots with a normal action camera without putting hours of your trip into adjusting camera positions and double checking the framing of your shot or constantly having your phone connected to see how the framing is. And with the GoPro and the Quick app, you'll have a 50-50 chance of whether or not the app is working. Even if the X3 doesn't shoot videos in 5.3K resolution in the same way as a GoPro, you can enhance the visuals of the video by adding music and sound effects, or even spend some time to make a proper sound design which will fit your story. The sponsor of today's video, Epidemic Sound, can help you with exactly that. Epidemic Sound provides more than 40,000 music tracks and over 90,000 sound effects, and is currently developing a new tool to help creators like me be more efficient when syncing videos to to audio or audio to videos. Personally, I've been using Epidemic Sound way before my son was born and he's soon turning seven. So I've been using Epidemic Sound for ages and there's no reason I should change platform. Epidemic Sound has everything I need when I put together a video, music and sound effects. It's so easy to find all of these. You can simply search by tags or you can search by name. So let's say if you want some waves, then you type in waves and you will have a vast variety of different wave sounds which you can add to your video. So do yourself a favor and do like me, spend less time looking for music and sound effects. Give it a few months to see what I mean and sign up with my link in the description below to get a 30 day free trial. So as of my personal experience and final conclusion of the X3 after now finally doing a trip with it. I've been so excited for this trip. How is it actually to travel with? Like I said, this is the first time I've traveled with a 360 camera. Even though my wife told me year after year that I should get one, I've always held off. And looking at the footage I've captured so far and how easy it was to capture those shots, I honestly regret not getting it a few years ago, even the 1X or the 1X2. 
So far, I've had much more fun with the X3 over the last two weeks than I've had with any other action cameras as far as I can remember. The way that I can frame the shots later has been something I enjoy more and more, and it takes no longer than any other camera, simply because you can get so many different unique angles from one of the same cameras. So your options are almost endless of how you want to frame. Imagine shooting the exact same thing with a regular action camera, you would either have to stand still and record four different angles or use four cameras or run back and forth between the starting point for each of those shots. And at the end, you will have four different files to go through just to get somewhat the same results. Even that won't be the same because with the Insta360 X3, you can actually reframe 360 degrees up and down and from left to right however you want. And talking about the different shots here, from a single recording of the X3, you can just place the playhead at the beginning of the first keyframe or just at the beginning of your clip, and then you can just change the angle, the lens type, toggle stabilization on and off if you want to do that, and even zoom in a tiny bit to adjust or remove the fisheye. Even the aqua mode for snorkeling or diving, it doesn't matter what or how you record. You can adjust all of these settings later in the Insta360 Studio app, which is totally awesome. So to me, it has been one of the best trips when it comes to shooting solo content. But if you ask me, you should never travel without one. It has been such a trip boost and I can't remember the last time I had so much fun with a camera. Maybe the A7S III because the quality of that is on a different planet. But again, it's not an action camera nor is it waterproof. I will also have another video coming soon with the X3 where I dive a little bit deeper into the settings I've used and how I used it on this trip with some of my secret tips and tricks to make your 360 videos look better. So stay tuned for that. There's also a link to the X3 down in the description which will give you some free accessories. So I highly recommend that you check that out. And if you don't have it already, make sure to check out the three meter carbon fiber selfie stick link in the description. This is a must have if you ask me and you don't really need to use it with the Insta360 X3. You can use it with the Insta360 Go 2 and also other action cameras as well. Let me know your thoughts on the Insta360 X3 and if you already have it, where will you be taking it next? So that wraps it up guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you found any value in today's video and if I could help you in deciding whether or not to get the X3 or at least consider it, let me know by dropping a like. Links to everything used in this video will be down there as well. So until next time, Take care and I'll see you soon.